Hello everyone, this is Bryant. In this video series, you're going to learn how you can deploy Apache HTTP server on a Google Cloud Platform provision virtual machine and secure the cloud with the TLS certificate generated with TLS Encrypt. This is part three and last part of the series, and you will see how you can create an HTTPS cloud using Less Encrypt. Be sure to like my video and subscribe to my channel. So without further ado, let's get started. This is a video series broken down into three different parts. In our previous videos, you saw how you can provision a virtual machine with a Debian Linux image on GCP. You also saw how to install an Apache HTTP server. If you missed it, be sure to go back and watch those. In this video, We'll secure log by creating TLS certificate using Less Encrypt. This is what you're going to see in this video. Let's open up a conversation by discussing why do we need HTTPS log? What is HTTPS anyway? Hypertext, transfer, protocol, secure, surely HTTPS, is a combination of HTTP with the SSL this is secure socket layer and TLS, transport layer security protocol. Using public key to encrypt the data transferred over the SSL connection, it allows to communicate securely with the web browser. Any sensitive data need to be transferred over a secure network and almost all modern web applications use this method. All right, so we understood why do we need HTTPS for our website. Next, what is less encrypt? In plain English, if we want to secure a website, we need a TLS SSL certificate to issue to our website. Hence, we need a certificate authority, known as CA. Although we can use a self-signed certificate, it is not safe to do so. And this is where less encrypt comes into our picture. Less encrypt is an open and automated certificate authority that use ACME, Automatic Certificate Management Environment, protocol to provide this free TLS, SSL certificates to any compatible client. This certificates can be used to encrypt communication between your web server and your users. Awesome. We understood what HTTPS is and what less encrypt is. But to make this work, we need to further divide this video into two sections. First, you'll see an example of setting DNS with the Google domain. I'm using Google domain as an example, but you can use any other domain provider and steps should be pretty much similar. But you need to have a domain name and done with this prior to go to the next step. Domain name typically costs only about $12 USD per year, so it is less expensive than a cup of coffee every month. Next, we'll finally issue a TLS certificate with less encrypt to create a secured HTTPS lout for your virtual machine. First part is hooking up your VM with the Google domain. Let's check out how we can do that. Before we do anything on our Google domain, we need to set up some further configuration and gather resources first. If you follow my previous videos, you should have a GCP VM virtual machine with an Apache server installed on it. Go back to your VM instances and copy the external IP somewhere on a text editor like Notepad. We will use this value quite often. Next, go to Cloud DNS under Network Services. This is where we can define our namespaces. When you're there, click Create Zone. Some information should be pre-populated upon creation. For data called NS, you don't have to edit, but copy this value somewhere in text editor like Notepad. You'll add these values in your domain host provider later. You need to add two more data there. First, add a type A and point to your VM's external IP that you just copied into your text editor. Lastly, create a CNAME type 
and prepend www. Set the value to your domain. This will make it redirect to whenever somebody type www. Now, let's go to Google Domain. I already have one, so I'll use that. Again, I'm using Google Domain as an example, but you can use oneinone.com, GoDaddy, Bluehosting, Azure DNS, AWS Route 53, or whatever. Domain name should be pretty cheap, like $10 to $12 per year. Once you have your domain, first thing you have to do is select your domain name and select the DNS. On a section called Name Server, I'm selecting to use custom name servers. And I would set these values to the NS values I got from my GCP's Cloud DNS. In Google Domain, scroll down to find custom resource record. You will need to add two more data there. First, Add a type A with the add symbol sign set to your VM's external IP address. Create another custom resource record with www and set to type A as well. The value for this should also be your external IP. Now we are finally done with the linking our domain name with our GCP's VM. Let's finally secure our route with the Let's Encrypt. Here is Let's Encrypt Certbot website. You go to certbot.eff.org. On the section, you can select the software and system. We'll select Apache Server. On the system, we'll use the Debian. Based on your selection, it will generate instruction that we need to follow. First, we need to install a package called snap or snapd. There are different instructions for all different type of operating systems, so select the one you need. For our purpose, we'll select the Debian. So here's our instruction. Go back to our virtual machine in VM instances and click SSH to launch our web version of SSH console. We'll speed things up here a little bit. Here's our SSH console. We'll install snap package. sudo snap install core. That's a part package. Again, we are using Debian here, so the package instruction might be different if you're using different operating system but we see the command not found. First thing we need to do is sudo app update. So we need to update our package repository. So sudo add update. So just make sure that we get all the latest um, packages. So now we do sudo add install snapd. There is will ask to install snapd. So we select yes. Once we are done installing snap, we will type sudo snap install core. And there you go. So our core is installed. We will type the command sudo snap refresh core. So we have a latest update and it's good. Then using our snap, we will install our serve bot sudo snap install hyphen hyphen classic cert bot. This will install our cert bot. Next, we will link our cert bot with the following command. sudo ln hyphen s and then directory name for cert bot and we add it to the user bin directory. This command might be different from your operating system, so make sure that adjust if your operating system is different for the, your VM. Finally, we'll launch our cert bot with the command for the Apache. So sudo cert bot hyphen hyphen Apache. This will start asking a few things. We are asked for our email, so we type in one associated with our domain name. It will ask to enlarge a few things. You can read and type Y for yes.
Lastly, it will ask for to type our domain name with the comma separation. So we type that. Some few more details and we are done. Now, when we go to back to our page and type HTTPS and our domain, we can finally see it. We can check out certificate from website. And here is our certificate. And that's pretty much it. That's it. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like my video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget. And hopefully we can see you again next time. Bye bye.